We advance to hole 13. Heading down the hill into the maw. Paige Pierce on the tee. She rips a not quite a beauty. It doesn't pull over as much as I expected. That hangs off left. She's going to have a very tough look. Those are some thick woods. Valerie Jenkins gets a little air bounce. It's off to the right. It fights through a little bit. She's got a tough look coming out of there. Zoe Andike straight as a string right through the thin gap. Zoe Andike is going to be putting for birdie on hole 13. Paige Pierce gets out of the mook. She's got a look at par. Valerie Jenkins. Call that an easy par. Sarah Hokum has been having trouble on this hole. That's for bogey. She will be carding a double bogey on 13. And Zoe Andike for birdie. Call it a par. Paige Pierce. Call it a bogey. She will be tying, not gaining a stroke on hole 13. We move on to hole 14. The women take the lower tee closer to the water. Zoe Andike plays it very safe, goes off left. Paige Pierce. She is trusting her discs, put the disc way out over the water and way past the pin. She's got about 80 feet coming back, but maybe the water's not in play on that comeback shot. Valerie Jenkins puts it way out there. It curves in at the right time, but too late. She goes OB on hole 14. And Sarah Hokum, oh, that's flexing back, coming past the camera and lands in the drink, right in the corner. Valerie Jenkins' third shot. She will save the bogey, but she's losing a stroke to Paige Pierce. And on the chase card, Vanessa Van Dyken cards the birdie and moves into third. We're on hole 15. Valerie Jenkins leads by four over Paige Pierce, five over Vanessa Van Dyken, who's on the chase card. And Zoe Andike finds the localist of local routes, skips in front of the basket. She's got about 25 feet for the birdie. Paige Pierce. A new kid in the hall. That thing goes off to the right. She's going to have a look through some thick woods to try to go up and down and save the par. Valerie Jenkins. For the second hole in a row, Valerie Jenkins is in trouble off the tee. Here's her second shot. She's going to have a look at par, but it's a long one. For par. Valerie Jenkins will be carding the bogey. Paige Pierce does not card the birdie. Will be carding the par. Gains one stroke. And Zoe Andike to gain two. The big elephant stroke says yes, please. Zoe Andike gains two. And we're moving on to hole 16. We go to hole 16. A tight tunnel shot through the woods. A little over 500 feet. Zoe Andike on the tee. She finds another local route off to the right. Kicks left. She's going to have a great look up and down for the birdie. Paige Pierce trusts the disc to do its job. She's also very close to the edge of the woods. She'll have a great look at birdie as well. Valerie Jenkins puts it a little high. She currently leads by three after losing two strokes on the last two holes. That's going to be a tough look for her from the side. Zoe Andike, pretty easy up and down, executed perfectly. Valerie Jenkins finds her way out of the woods. A very nice shot by Valerie. She'll have the easy par. Paige Pierce goes by about 15 feet. She'll have a good look at birdie. Birdie! Zoe Andike, two birds in a row. Paige Pierce cards the birdie. Neither of them are losing ground to Valerie Jenkins, who's up by three. We move on to hole 17. Valerie Jenkins has lost two strokes in the last two holes. Paige Pierce is now down by three. Zoe Andike puts that up. She wants to get about 50 feet farther where the dog leg begins. This is a dog leg right. And Paige Pierce wants to avoid those trees. She's going to have a very tough look in. Valerie Jenkins. 
This is uh, officially a par 4, but it's a very gettable par 4 with two very conservative shots. You could get the birdie. Paige Pierce's second shot gets in, tucks way right. She's about 50 feet right, which means in the woods. Zoe Andike is about 50 feet left. And Valerie Jenkins lays that up nicely. She's going to have about 15 feet for birdie. Zoe Andike. Easy par from there. Paige Pierce, not much of a look here. I'm guessing she's laying this up. She'll card the par. Sarah Hokum, who had a couple, a couple of rough holes, a bad patch, recovers with a birdie on 17. And Valerie Jenkins to make the lead four. Count it. Interestingly enough, Katrina Allen and Vanessa Van Dyken are making a move, both carding birdies on 17. They are now third and fourth for lead guard tomorrow. So we go into the final hole. Valerie Jenkins now has a four-stroke lead over Paige Pierce, five strokes over Katrina Allen, Vanessa Van Dyken, and Zoe Andyke. A beautiful drive by Valerie gets stuck under that tree. She's probably going to have to lay up. Sarah Hokum. So an interesting thing, Vanessa Van Dyken cards the bogey. Katrina, Valen, uh, Van, Katrina, <laughs> Katrina Allen cards the par, which means if Zoe Andyke cards the par, she'll be one stroke ahead of Vanessa Van Dyken and actually be the fourth person on the lead card tomorrow. Par is an important number for Zoe today. Paige Pierce, who deuced this yesterday, gets pin high again but she's about 120 feet left this time. Sarah Hokum goes for the island green, and it pays off. She's got the easy birdie on hole 18. Paige Pierce also goes for the green and also has the easy birdie. Valerie Jenkins, who laid up her second shot, will card the par. And Zoe Andyke for par. Cards the bogey and loses out to Vanessa Van Dyken for the last spot on the lead card. 